and Hocus Pocus. Um, yes, um, we met them uh, on on our first year, one of our, if it was, it was our first European tour. Mm -hmm. Our first European tour um, in 2004. Um, and uh, we were introduced to mutual friends. Um, it was it was kind of a relationship that happened organically. Uh, we both liked the same styles of music. Uh, we respected the way they worked. I think they liked the way that we worked. Um, and it's something that's continued ever since 2004. We've been on pretty much every Hocus Pocus album. Um, we still have a relationship with all the C2C, T, uh, C2C DJs. Um, we did a show, uh, we did a, a, a couple things with them last week and just sort of hanging out. Um, some events around Paris and whatnot. So it's a family, and uh, we continue to make music in, in a professional uh, manner as well, and, and we hope to continue. Do you have a dream collaboration? Um, yes, quite a few, actually. Um, wow, where to start? Bjork? I mean, I, from the, uh, I've noticed that a lot of artists, they get signed and they, they end up only, they have a budget to work and collab with artists and it seems like they only work with who's ever making noise at the time. So like within that year or the last three years, whoever's getting hyped. And it always confused me that there's just so many great artists, especially the ones that, you know, gave you inspiration from way back that you could collaborate with. Uh, so definitely I would go back to some of my first experiences with incredible music. I think Bjork would definitely be one of them. Um, I, I would love to work with uh, Tears for Fears. Uh, I would love to work with, um, man, I would pull uh, Steve Perry out of retirement if we could. Uh, I mean, there's just a whole list of people. But I guess I could say that it wouldn't be as current as people might assume. I would definitely go back into the, the groups that inspired me to be uh, who I How do you imagine music in a hundred years? Wow. Um, well, I imagine that it'll be, uh, I feel like everything, to quote Q-tip, everything moves in cycles. So a um, hundred years is a long time, but I, I imagine that there'll be, um, there'll be some things left over from, from this era um, and, and which will be taken upon later on and sort of made into something new. Uh, I think there'll still be rock, there'll still be hip hop, there'll still be jazz, but just a new form of it. Um, obviously with technology, things move forward in ways that I can't really predict. Uh, maybe they have some, some weird orb glow thing that moves <laughs> and makes music sound or something crazy. Who knows, but, um, but I think there'll be pieces of what we're doing now and I hope that, um, I hope that what we're doing as the percussions, we're, we're a part of that somehow and able to add to that to where that's a part of the, uh, the musical vocabulary that we need, if you will, so. Okay, you agree with that? I agree, that or there won't be any music because the greenhouse effects will have <laughs> pushed the atmosphere to the thickest level beyond a recognizable world and we won't have ears. Anymore.